Hey guys, John from Take The Lead here. Today, I'm bringing you my review of the Eskimo Stingray S33 Power Auger. We're gonna be taking an in-depth look at how this thing works, what makes it awesome, and whether it's the right choice for you out on the hard water this year. Let's get right into it. Out of the box, you get a 33cc two-stroke power head that powers an 8-inch quantum drill bit made of powder-coated steel. You also get an Allen key for attaching the drill bit to the power head and a protector to go over the attachment. The total package weighs about 30 pounds with a full tank of gas, and it cuts through feet of ice in minutes. We didn't have any issues from normal use all season. The only issue that we had all season was a little bit of flooding due to overpriming the engine during our stress test. After about a 15 minute sit on the ice, the auger got started again, no complaints. Since this is a two stroke motor, we have to use a 50 to one fuel to oil ratio. But with a full tank, after about 300 holes this season, we still have a third of a tank to go. It's a bit slower compared to the other ice augers out there, but the slower speed can make for some easier handling, especially when the ice is inconsistent. Running a gas auger is pretty loud, and for some reason, the earlier that you're on the lake, the louder it is. Overall, I think it's a solid choice for a first auger. It's simple to operate and maintain and consistently gets the job done. It's a really affordable option for the casual ice fisherman or for someone who's just looking to get into the sport without taking out a second mortgage. Eskimo has a long history of quality and if treated right, your auger should last for many, many seasons to come. Right. To get started, make sure that your power switch is in the off position and your choke is all the way up in the run position. Next, push the prime bulb three to five times until you see fuel in this fuel line and this fuel line right here. Once you see fuel in those two lines, put your choke lever all the way to choke, turn your power button on, and you're ready to go. We'll go ahead and remove the included safety cover. With your off hand, grab the handlebar, and with your power hand, grab that pull handle. Now in one motion, I'm gonna push with my left hand and pull with my right hand. And if you do it right, your auger should. Once your engine's running smoothly, move the choke lever back to run. Eskimo was founded back in the 1960s by three friends with one goal to change the game of powered ice augers. Starting with a car battery driven ice auger, they were able to produce augers and post hole diggers for over 60 years. With all that experience and innovation, they have become one of the staples in the Midwest ice fishing industry. After using the auger all season, I can definitely see why so many people continue to choose Eskimo. As you can see, it passed our stress test with flying colors, so we know for sure that out of the box, it'll definitely get you where you need to be on the lake. Now let's go ahead and use it for the rest of the season, and I will touch back with you guys once we're done. Well, it's the end of the season. It's time to go ahead and get this auger put away. With most of the gas removed from the tank, we'll get started by setting the top of the housing to the side to expose the air filter. Clean up the inside of the housing to remove any oil, gas, or debris that may have gotten into the auger. Since there isn't a lot of dust in the winter, a quick wipe down usually does the trick. For step three, we're going to get the auger started like we normally would uh, for a regular day out on the ice. Let the auger run for a few minutes more to get the motor nice and warm. It helps to have a cute assistant. The final step is to spray the engine fogger into the carb until the motor shuts off. 
When using engine fogger, the motor will run a little rough when it starts up next season as the oil burns out. Now that we've got the fogger in the engine, there's a nice coating of oil on all the running engine parts. We're going to go ahead and get a little bit of WD-40 on the external exposed metal parts, and then she's good to pack up for the season. But uh, it's been a great time out on the water this year. Thank you guys all so much for tagging along. I can't wait for you to see what we've got coming up next. It's going to be a great shoot, and uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys. But other than that, stay tuned and make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.